I know what you're here for. And it's the Morpheus 8 results. And we are gonna get into it. We're gonna get into before and afters of what results I actually got a year and a half after getting my first Morpheus 8. I'm postpartum. I have an eight month old. And I'm also talking to you about the procedures that have worked for me have not worked for me, what I did pre-baby and what I plan on doing in what I'm calling my hot mom summer glow up. And just a little about me, if you're new to this channel or you found me because of my first Morpheus 8 video or my threads video, my name is Celeste Thomas. I'm a registered nurse, holistic skincare expert. I worked in the field of aesthetic nursing for seven years as an injector, doing lasers, all of the things. So I'm very well versed in procedures, in the newest technology in lasers, in injectables, as well as holistic skincare. So I really run the gamut and share so many things I would love to see you for more videos subscribe if you're feeling generous and let's hang out and talk all things postpartum glow up i was gonna use this but i think we're good with just a little natural light and then you can actually see me and i can see you well i can't but i feel like i can hello hello my loves it's your mama friend back from the nursery where I was breastfeeding, <laughs> but actually. And it's all about really postpartum glow up plans. And I wanted to share this video because I do have a, no a lot of knowledge in this space. I was a registered nurse in dermatology and aesthetics for seven years, and I have friends that are still in the field. So I know about so many treatments and things that I have had that have worked or not worked for me and that I plan on doing again. So I thought it'd be a great thing to share if any mama is looking for a little postpartum glow up, just things that I would recommend that I'm obviously doing again, things that I maybe wouldn't, and just showing you some before and afters and some results so you know where you might wanna spend your hard earned money and now being a mom, like where you can invest time because our time is so precious and rare. So I first wanna start off by telling you how old I am. I am 33 years old. I had my first baby eight months ago and I am still breastfeeding, but I don't know how long I'm gonna be breastfeeding and I definitely have plans to wean at some point and when I wean, it's on. Your girl is gonna do all the things. So prior to being pregnant, I would get filler in my chin, in um, cheeks previously, a little bit in my lips, a little bit in my nasal labial folds, and a little bit back here to kind of extend this and even this. And my injector, Ali B Beauty, shout out, she is the best in LA, is very conservative and loves a natural look. So we're talking about maybe one syringe for all of these things. So I would do dermal filler. And um, I'm not too picky. I just let her decide what what kind. I've done Juvederm, um, probably some others. I'm trying to think. I would also get Botox anywhere from like 20 to 50 units, depending on where I was doing it. And I would definitely do my crow's feet, my forehead in between here, a little bit my upper lip for a lip flip, and sometimes in these muscles here for my TMJ. And I have a whole video about that and I would correct asymmetries on this side of my face, which is lower. So I will link that video so you can get more of the in-depth about Botox. So I've done those. Um, I've also done threads on this side of my face twice because I sleep on this side. So this side has more laxity. I have done everything to try to sleep on my back. I often wake up on this side. So just know if you sleep on your face, you are slowly degenerating the collagen, elastin, bone, everything with the weight of your, what is it, 25 pound head. I have a large head, so it's probably on the upper scale of human head weight. So just know you're crushing your face. So usually people have asymmetries as they age and I try to lift that up. I will say about the threads, people hate on threads um, 
but for me and what I wanted to get a little bit of lift here and fill in some of the bone degeneration and tissue degeneration from sleeping on it, it worked. I will say, I also have a video about my threads. I'll insert that, you can check that out. I will say getting threads twice, the amount of collagen and elastin, pro probably more just collagen that was built up in my lax areas has stayed and maintained even when the threads went away because threads only last for about a year, but the collagen buildup that your body creates because of the threads and the, the stress to your tissue, which your body goes and builds more collagen, that has stayed and I have loved the results. So just putting that out there, I know it's kind of expensive. You could do something like a Sculptra instead and maybe get that same kind of effect. Um, so totally up to you. I had a good experience with threads, but some people hate them. Just putting it out there. One other thing I wanna clarify, I share about holistic skincare, non-toxic skincare. I love to reduce toxins in my life as much as possible. And Botox can be controversial in that space, I think because of the name of tox. And it's a onobotulinum toxin that decreases muscle movement and creates a barrier for brain muscle connection. But because it's a toxin doesn't mean it's toxic, if that makes sense. So it's a scientific toxin that has an effect, but it's actually, it's been FDA approved for 25 or 30 years. It's available in countries with very strict non-toxic standards like France and Scandinavia. If there were long-term studies about issues of endocrine disrupting or long-term negative side effects of both, side effects of Botox, I personally believe that it would be out there and it would be big news. So the fact that it's not, I feel safe doing Botox when I'm not pregnant or breastfeeding, that is. It's also one of those things that I choose to live in a polluted city, toxic city. I have air purifiers in my house, but I could live in the mountains. I could live in the, you know, in Montana on a farm and my quality of life, my air quality, the toxic load I would be taking on would be so much less. So I think in everyone's life, you have to weigh those scales and just decide what makes you happy. And for me, having a little Botox, it makes me happy. And I also don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to make a change. I think that women like Gwyneth Paltrow with her no Botox and no filler are absolutely stunning. I think that everyone should do exactly what they want. I think that every woman with wrinkles looks beautiful in her own skin. And I also think that the Kylie Jenners of the world, you don't know how old they are, but they also kind of starting to look like a cat. So you have to find what works for you and what makes you happy. And what makes me happy is a little bit of preventative Botox. I have been getting said preventative Botox since I was 23 years old and working as an injector in the space of aesthetic medicine. So I like it, makes me happy. I want to do as many preventative things like baby Botox, like lasers and treatments like Morpheus that bring in collagen and elastin because my husband has made it very clear that he wants me to look like me and he would prefer that I not do any invasive surgeries as I age. And I respect that because I look at some people's moms and I'm like, oh my gosh, like maybe if she didn't get that second facelift, she would look a little more natural and age gracefully. And I'm just so grateful that my mother doesn't do anything. She's a, you know, loves, equestrian life and lives up in Oregon on seven acres and she looks like my mom so I can respect Nate not wanting me to make a bunch of aesthetic changes and that he wants me to age with him and we can look older together I just want to do it in a way that I feel good about we're doing everything I can to stimulate my body's ability to anti-age myself so here's what I'm planning for my glow up. And I'm calling it Hot Girl Summer. I, I'm hoping to have Odie weaned by my birthday. It's also her birthday month, she'll be one. I just feel like we'll get into all the reasons why because it's really emotional and I don't need to cry right now. But that's kind of been my plan. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I'm not putting too many parameters, but I just feel like that's gonna be best for both of us. 
So that's kind of my plan. May comes, goes, hot girl summer. Hot girl summer is your girl is not breastfeeding. She can be an autonomous human. She can have a few glasses of rosé. She can do whatever she wants with her own body. And that's my plan. And then as far as aesthetically, I will be getting Botox. I will be getting the little bits of filler in my chin to assist my profile, a touch of my lips again. Um, I don't like filler under my eyes or my cheeks or anything else. I just like a little bit through here. I feel great about it, a little bit of Botox. Then I will be addressing a few things that have kind of bothered me as I've gotten a little bit older. Um, my predisposition genetically is to be a little gaunt here and longer in the face. So Ali suggested maybe we put a little bit of Sculptra, which is a calcium bond filler, which you inject in certain areas and then your body binds um, calcium to the area and kind of fills it in from the inside out. It's really cool. It was actually uh, really used in HIV cases back in the 80s and 90s and helping people fill out their face from losing it when they were, um, when they had AIDS and their faces became really gone. So has more of a cosmetic application now, but I'm going to do a little bit of um, sculpture here to hopefully just give me a little bit more volume and, and hide some of the veins that I've started to notice more as collagen has, you know, been lost from the area. I also plan on doing another series. Well, I only did one Morpheus and that's why you're here watching this video, but I want to do another Morpheus, at least one more before I get pregnant again, maybe even two. And this time I definitely want to do my full face and my neck. So Morpheus, then I want to do something that my friend Courtney did, which is called the plasma pen. Because another thing that I've started to notice is that my eyelids are getting a little bit creepier. And if I'm not going to do any cosmetic procedures ever again, your girl needs to get that in check because that's definitely one thing I notice that ages people is crepey, saggy eyelid skin. And there's not a lot you can do because it's over your eyes. You can't laser it and go blind, but there's this technique with a plasma pen, which kind of like burns teeny little superficial wounds all over your eye. And it looks crazy. It looks like little dots, scars that last for about a week. And that stimulates collagen on the surface right here. And normally when they do it, they'll also do maybe your upper lip and maybe a jowl. I don't know, but I definitely want the eyelids. So that's the plan. And I'm going to be sharing all of it on YouTube and on TikTok. I know that you love these kind of videos and whether or not you're interested in, you know, what I consider my hot girl summer, whether or not you want to do it, who knows? It's just info and I have zero stake in the game. I'm not getting paid by any of these companies. I'm not getting paid by any of these professionals. I don't need to tell you if it was good or if it was bad. I'm just sharing my honest thoughts, opinions, and results with you. So I do need to take after pictures for Morpheus and get them up so that I can show you if it did anything. And I feel like it did. I really do. Plus I have a friend who is an actor and you've definitely seen her before. She's She's been around. Um, and she has had, I think, three or four Morpheuses now. The girl looks incredible. We're the same age and her skin is taut. She has volume. She hasn't done anything else because I'm more knowledgeable in the space than she is. She'll ask me if I should do, if she should do something. So I know she hasn't done anything else, but her skin, like the texture and the lift on it, it's Morpheus. It's freaking Morpheus 8. Like I know it is. So. I'm getting my butt in the Morpheus 8 chair, even though it was so painful. But now that I've done childbirth, I'm like, sign me up. So let's do afters and we'll see. And I'm recording from my phone, but I just had to show you this because I did the before and after pictures. I put them together and I had to share the Morpheus 8 results. I look like a completely different person, okay? This is really crazy. Like having a baby, almost two years, Morpheus results, different things I've been doing. Like 
I look like a completely different person. I'm gonna insert the photo, you ready? Bam! I mean, I was such a baby face. I had so much more like fat in my face, not in a bad way, like I look like a baby, but I will say the Morpheus did lift things. This is my face right now. These are my results without any Botox or filler, which is really wild. And no one is just supposed to have one Morpheus 8. It's really like three, four, you're gonna get best results. So that made me so excited to get more. And that is definitely a part of my mama glow up. So I'm really excited to share the whole journey and experience of getting more of these. Um, I will insert the link to my full Morpheus 8 treatment video so you can watch it if you're interested. That is my most watched video ever on YouTube and I think a lot of people are interested so I would highly recommend it. I'm gonna share more but I also just wanted to get into some more little glow up things you can do at home and that I have been doing especially for my hair postpartum and I have I shared this with you in like a my last um, video but the amount of like baby hairs and new hairs I have on my head and how much healthier my hair is and it looks so much thicker I just want to share a little hair care routine as a part of my mama glow up because in 2023 I'm gonna have the longest thickest most luscious smoothest glossiest hair I've ever had. Mark my words, my loves. It is possible. It's possible to come out of motherhood feeling even hotter and more confident than you ever did before. Okay? We're gonna do this together. Well, hello! Oh, I just took a shower. Fed baby girl, changed a poopy diaper. Now she's hanging out with dad downstairs and I'm finally gonna get to do my hair care routine. And this is definitely an important part of my mama glow up plan. So last time I was on YouTube, I shared the Maya Chia powerful treatment that I was doing with my hair. Let me just try to show you like how freaking crazy it is. Like all these new baby hairs are from the scalp treatment. I'll link that video if you want to check it out, but I have seen just such an incredible amount of regrowth of hair and new hair. And it's really giving me like root volume that I like. And then the other thing that I feel like so many of us struggle with, and I know this because so many people buy Olaplex, and Olaplex is my number one request for a dupe. So I know that it's an issue, but it's breakage and just like damage in the hair. And I love being blonde. I recently, huh? Well, yeah, recently I looked through some old photos on my phone and I was looking at when my hair was dark brown when I dyed it so dark brown after my wedding and I just, I don't love brown hair on me. Like the Haley trend with everyone going darker, like I'm sorry, but I just cannot be brown. So I love highlights and I only get highlights twice a year I go to my girl Monica who is a genius at that kind of like lived in grow out hair because I don't have time as a mama to go and get my hair done every six weeks like that is not realistic so I go and get highlights every six months from her and they grow out just like this but I will say like any amount of color treatment on my really fragile fine hair is damaging so I've been using this brand new Maya Chia main agent and thank you so much to Maya Chia for sponsoring this portion of the video I'm obsessed with this brand I feel like they have actual high quality solutions to products that are kind of toxic and have fragrance and bad ingredients so they give you really active natural formulations to solve problems so the problem that this is solving is the breakage and the damage, same as Olaplex, to give you the results of smoother, nourished, healthier looking hair, especially the ends of your hair. So 
All you have to do is just apply it to damp hair like this. I mean, it's like every time you wash it, you just use it as a treatment afterwards. So super easy to incorporate into your routine. And it has this chia seed complex that has so many benefits, which I will read to you because I don't want to get any of it wrong. It's really cool. So the cornerstone of this advanced clean formulation is the chia plex complex. It's an innovative complex that deploys a combination of chia seed extract, amino acids, and polysaccharides to heal and repair broken bonds of the hair. Agent forms long molecular chains inside the hair shaft, which work to restore the damaged keratin fibers. And I love the science. I love to know why. I don't want someone just like telling me, oh, it's great. It works for me. So I really love it. I'm going to dry my hair and just show you like how healthy the bonds look. I just feel like this has worked so, so well to just solve the problem of my damaged ends. So if you are struggling with damaged ends, like, if you're paying for Olaplex or you're just over using toxic products or you want to incorporate something new and see if it works for you, I recommend this so much. And I recommend doing the scalp treatment, the powerful in combination because we spend so much money on our hair as women, but getting your hair to actually thicken at the root, which is going to in turn like make my hair so much thicker and fuller as years go by and then strengthening the bonds of the shaft and the ends just gives you so much more confidence i feel like now that i've really healed my skin i'm feeling more so much more confident in you know my body postpartum like i want my hair to reflect that and i want to feel as good as i can with something that's so so simple it just seems kind of like a no-brainer and yeah i mean i just love my achia's products i have seen such a difference and i know that they're a sponsor but i just really love the brand i share the brand all the time i gifted my mother-in-law the powerful scalp treatment for christmas because it works so well for me and she was just concerned about some thinning you know which we all have as we age so now i'm gonna dry it and i'll show you my hair eh voila and i don't have any product in my hair nothing to smooth it out and let me tell you, this is definitely such an improvement from how it used to look. And I have pretty much no visible split ends. I did get a haircut like, I don't know, three, four weeks ago, but that's never stopped me from having tons of split ends down the shaft of my hair and it would take cutting off like six inches in order to get rid of them. So. I love this product. You can click the link below if you want to give it a try and definitely let me know what you think, especially if you're an Olaplex girly, but I think it's completely comparable and it's clean. And I definitely will keep you posted on all of the treatments. I'm gonna be doing the Morpheus, getting back into Ali B's office for all the things, but I will <clears throat> have to wean Odie before that happens. And I don't know if any other mamas are kind of going through this right now. It hasn't really been a problem for me emotionally yet because it's in the future, but I know there's going to be a time where it's really emotional for me um, because I have to wean her in order to get all these treatments again. And I wouldn't wean her just to get lasers and medical facials and botox but we do want another baby i need to focus on getting my nutrient stores back and getting my health really optimized before we start trying for a baby again and i don't even have my period yet so i can't even get pregnant like my body's focusing on feeding Odie, which is so incredible and i never really had a plan around breastfeeding but it's going so well with my girl. And I feel like I could be one of those mamas that breastfeeds her until I'm, she's, until I'm 35, she's two, just for a really long time. And that doesn't really fit with our family plan of the frequency and time in between children. And I'm an only child, so like, 
I don't have the same concept of sibling timing that my husband does and he and his brothers are all two years apart and they have such a beautiful close bond and I talk to friends that also have really close siblings in age that are so so bonded with them and then other people who have siblings that are like four or five years apart and the relationship is just not the same so i want to experience secondhand that sibling bond of really close siblings and so that means realistically like Odie will be one in may gestation of a baby is 10 months that's a year so by her birthday or a little after like we have to start trying and hope that we can get pregnant i mean it could take months and months it took us three on the third month of trying with Odie, we got pregnant so there's just so many things to think about and my glow up is the last thing on that list but if i'm already gonna wean to really make sure that my body is optimized for pregnancy and that I'm healthy and I'm not super, super depleted, then I'm gonna get those things done while I'm at it, you know? A little something for me. I'm calling it my hot girl summer. It's gonna be the summer in between weaning Odie and trying for another baby. And I would love any tips and tricks for weaning because I know zero about it. I know absolutely nothing. So stay tuned for that journey and we're doing it together mamas or you know if you're pregnant and just trying to learn how to feel your best postpartum like I'm so here for you sound off in the comments if you have any questions the community will answer I will answer we are just in this together and it's definitely like a interesting period of life where you have the most joy for the most precious babies on earth but you also are going through a lot physically emotionally all the things so just sending out love to all my mamas and just know that i'm right there with you i'm here for you and we got this okay because mindset is absolutely everything and the further i am in this journey the more i realize that savoring it appreciating it talking to other mamas who get it so you don't feel alone like those are all the important things so that you really enjoy and like squeeze the juice out of this period because it is so incredibly beautiful. Before I cry, mwah.